clever business or a big risk? Having been linked to transfers to Europe for over a year now, Wolves are the team to finally take a punt on Brazilian defensive midfielder Andre. So what kind of player is Andre? What Harry's main strengths? How will he fit into the system? And what areas may let him down in the Premier League? Let's take a look. Before we analyse him, if you like scouting reports, you like to analyse Brazilian players, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Andre was a key member of Fernando Diniz's Fluminense that went on to lift the Copa Libertadores last year. His defensive work and ability to transition the ball forward were key to their success. Recycling the ball well and protecting his defence is what he's renowned for. Let's take a look at how those strengths will fit in with Wolves. Despite lacking a physical presence and being able to cover long distances using long strides, Ray is particularly combative and aggressive in his approach and is quick in short distances which allow him to press high, close down opponents and compete for loose duels relatively quickly. And this allows him to get into the opposition's face quite quickly. He is protecting his defence using good reflexes and flexibility to make the tackle and to get his team out of pressure. And here again, good reflexes to get in the tackle before the opponent can work the ball in a dangerous situation. Another example of him using his competitive style high up the pitch. And this physique and style makes him a nuisance for the opponents. They can't just shrug him away easily. However, whilst he's quite agile, he's not supremely agile, which may cause him issues in progression. De Scaloni in vantage no jogo aos 64 minutos. Out of possession, Andre is very adept at screening and protecting his defence, which may suit Wolves down to a tee. Sitting in front of the defence, he's very animated to stop the ball from getting into the attackers. He can also drop into a low block, he's able to get crucial blocks in and position himself to deny the opposition. In possession, Andre tends to drop deep, sometimes in between the two centre-backs, where he likes to pick up the ball and look for long passes over the top into the ongoing strikers. He tends to operate as a typical six, where he sits in front of the defence, sprays passes across and just protects the defence at all costs. In this situation here he drops to receive so that he's the one who can play the diagonal pass into the channel. Whilst Andre does have some issues with creativity and being able to penetrate solid defences and compact defences, he is able to get the ball up the pitch quickly with long diagonal passes which may really suit Wolves if they use wing backs where he's able to pick them out high and wide up the pitch. In this example, you see he can pick out the left wing back. And whilst he does have some accuracy issues at times, he should be able to support his team with these. Drop in to receive and then spreading the play quickly. Could be a useful asset for Wolves. He's not going to dribble beyond players. However, he does have a keen eye for a threading pass. In these two examples, you'll see he's able to just thread it through the two defensive lines. Andre's key strengths is his ability to recognise the danger, recover quickly and make strong tackles to deny the opposition's counter-attacks or potential ability to get in behind. This also translates into his ability to get in the right position to make last-ditch tackles and blocks. In this situation here he's just waiting before he can jump in and prevent. He's also alert to cutting out cutbacks and dangerous crosses from the opposition. Using his good sense of danger, Andre is able to quickly close down opponents, also step out of defensive positions to block passing lines and help his team to win the ball back. In this occasion, you can see he comes across very quickly, makes a hard tackle to block and shut down the opposition's attack. It's Andre's ability to relentlessly hunt the ball down and prevent the opposition from feeling comfortable or working space. You can see in these examples here, he's quick to the opponent, denying them time and space in order to get the ball back for his team. And in a high press, he's extremely effective. He really forces the opponent back, preventing them from facing the right way and getting a foot in before they can start any kind of solid attack. Samuel Xavier tapa na frente. Descia por ali o Facundo Bernardo. Andre does possess the technical ability to allow him to set his team off on offensive transitions. In these situations, you see that he's just quick to make the pass to the free man. In this case here, he moves it well into space, finding a teammate to start off the offensive transition. And he does have the capacity to pick out nice threaded passes into the wide spaces as well. Here, first time pass in behind. He can also play some intricate passes. Here he plays one of his left foot in behind. 
And whilst Andre is not the most technically accomplished player, he does possess the ability to evade pressure, work himself out of space using agility and clean touches. In this situation here, his ball retention is pretty good. He's able to just marshal the ball and then find a teammate with a simple pass. One thing that Andre tends to do very well is just keep things simple. Once he wins the ball, he'll just pick out a free man and then look to move on and receive it after that. Always making himself available. And once he receives it here again, just holds off the pressure and finds a teammate. So in his simple passes, he's very effective at keeping it moving and circulating the ball. Again, he wins it, holds off the marker and just lays it off to a teammate simply. Andre is also capable of quick switches of play. He has the vision and the ability to pick out teammates in wider positions, loft the ball over the top of the defenders. And also, when he's in the certain situations, he's able to play forward passes quickly into the channels for his teammates to run onto. And whilst his accuracy is not always perfect, he does have the ability to switch play really quickly. He has a nice driven long diagonal pass into the wide spaces. And whilst he's not the most creative player or he's able to dictate the tempo of a game, he does possess the ability to play defence splitting passes into the channels especially. And it's his vision that allows him to pick up these passes. In this situation, he's already anticipated the run. He just shapes himself to, for the cross. Almost perfect ball in behind. So before he's even received the ball, he knows where the run's going to come. So he shapes himself to make that pass before he even receives it. But what really makes Andre effective is his ability to anticipate where the pass is going to go. Always seemingly being in the right place at the right time to prevent the opposition from making counter-attacks shutting off the passing lanes and also making sure that his team can stay high up the pitch as he's quick to step up. Despite that Andre does possess some limitations such as lapses of concentration that result in him making rash judgments on the ball. In these particular situations he loses control of the ball, loses his focus and brings the man down. In this situation just a lack of communication and here doesn't check his surroundings and is dispossessed quite easily. And because of his lack of height and jumping ability, he's not particularly dominant on noticeable and aerial duels. You see, he just misses out on both of them. Even though his combative and aggressive nature generally benefits the team, he does have moments where he's overly aggressive, which leads to unnecessary fouls being given away. And also, he jumps into tackles quite quickly sometimes when he should probably stand his ground. And in transitions, Andre generally lacks the power and explosiveness to carry the ball upfield quickly in transition. So it should generally be his defensive attributes that are going to be of big benefit to Wolves, such as his ability to read dangerous situations and get across quickly to shut off passing lanes, also aggressively close down opponents and make sure that they can't progress the ball into areas Wolves don't want them to. Another aspect is his ability to play forward quickly and help Wolves get into transitions very effectively. In these situations here you can see he just wins the ball nippily and takes it forward. And I think he'll be able to adapt to Wolves' system of sitting a bit deeper as he had done with Menezes recently at Fluminense. So go ahead and make a comment. Please tell me what you think. Does Andre have the tools to be a good success in the Premier League? Is he a good addition for Wolves? Do you think he'll be a successful signing for them? And if you like this video, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.